Catherine, welcome. This is Captain Ziad, the former Congressional Cabinet and Power Play Advocate for Homeless. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you all being here. And um, um, I'd just like to say, as a service provider, more needs to be done. You all are doing excellent jobs in your own areas, but there is a vernacular here, and I wish Chad were, were still here, that degrades the houseless people and displaced families that are here in the audience. You talked about them being from the mainland and dirty, uh, violent, mentally ill, drug addicted, and that is not descriptive of right. the entire population. Right. Jerry, you said that 40% of IHS is from the mainland at any given time, and you may be correct, but it's not indicative of the entire population. Right. In fact, 11% are newly from the mainland. So your statistic is not comprehensive. And I'd just like to dispel that myth, okay? There are a lot of myths that just came out. What you're doing with Housing First is great, but the city hasn't offered the full funding for operational costs, so it can't be fully implemented. It can't. And yet you all, except for you, Jason, thank God, you're the only person I've actually seen in Kaka'ako helping the homeless. You still support laws that criminalize, not disincentivize, criminalize those who have nothing. Right. And you reject the fact that their IDs are taken with the exception of you, Jason, thank you. Further, you don't talk to these people. You have participated in their dehumanization, which is wrong. And I know each and every one of you are doing good things and are good people right down when you get down to it. But politics is not, does not supersede the will and the morality of our community. Hear from these people. Listen to them. Do not criminalize them. The city council is going to hear all of the bills all over again on the 28th. Please do not do that. Criminalization, sit and lie, and the defecation bills do not work. They will increase the, the longevity of their homelessness. We have given you reports. We have given you testimony over testimony, peer-reviewed facts, studies already done in other cities of what works and what doesn't work, and categorically, hold on. Categorically, they say in other cities who have already made the same mistake that criminalizing these poor people Criminalizing poverty does not work. I didn't care if it's like one district or island-wide. It is wrong, and there's no way you can explain that. And as service providers, if you support criminalization, what does it tell the people that you're trying to help? That is why they are so angry. That is why they question your morality. That is why they think you are full of it. So give them the chance. Prove them wrong. Thank you. Yeah.